lot of times when he tried to rise up up there with Gluttony, Gluttony hit him out with his own neutralers or any of his air normals. Yeah, exactly. Gluttony had the upper hand when it came to that, uh, that space game in the skies. But see, our next set is going to be starting up now. Yet another top, top player like you were talking about earlier, Miho. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Loser side looking kind of more like winner side. Right. With, with a lot of the talent that's down here. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Yeah. But up here we have Energy Nairo going against Nico. Nico, and this should be a very fun set. Nico, of course, the Shulk extraordinaire, number two here in Southern California. And Shulk just got so many quality of life buffs and just general buffs in gen yeah. like, just to make him top tier. And the amazing thing to do is just like watching the way that Nico plays this character, right? A lot of Shulks, they fall into the temptation they were like, I'm playing suboptimally if I don't always use a Monado at every single step of the way, if I'm not always in one of these arts. Um, but Nico actually spends a lot of time not using anything and then uh, switches at the exact moment he decides he actually needs speed active. And that gives his opponent less time to react to what attributes he wants in a moment. So right now he's just playing solid neutral against Nairo's uh, Palutena. Yeah, but the arts we were talking about already, g pick going into play. Oh my goodness, 103 already racked up on Nairo. Switching back over to the Smash Art. And you know, one hit will go ahead and do the... Oh, oh controller. Man. Controller, controller. You know, this this happens with Ni this happened with Nairo's controller at Frostbite uh, earlier this year, too. I don't know if it's the same one that he used back then, but just something weird with the adapter. All right, both of them just letting it rock, not allowing it to, you know, defer anything from the set. I'm glad it's happening now as opposed to later. <laughs> it kind of like helped, like Nairo catch his breath during that ledge trap. <laughs> he was like, yo, I'm just wasting time off Smash. This is perfect. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm okay with this. <laughs> yeah. Because that's the scary thing about Shulk is the moment he gets you on that ledge, he goes into Smash, and then he has so many different ways to kill you off of every option you have. Mm -hmm. And Air Slash is just one of his best options that he has in his kit. It is a fantastic move. Not only can you just do it out of shield to punish anything, you know, that is unsafe on, on your shield, you can also just call out these anti that people are trying to dance around you because it has a scooping hitbox as part of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful switch to jump by Nico in order to find himself that up special. But then right afterwards, Nairo doesn't stop for a moment and finds the back and finishes him off. And what, wow, like, so I've seen Nico actually go into a shield to mess with people's combos at early mm -hmm. percents. Nairo just immediately adjusted his own game, found himself a reset on that platform and kept it going. Yeah, Nairo already just switching it up, understanding exactly what Shulk can do within the combos or just, you know, within anything that is happening. Adjusted it. The only part that I didn't like about this is that he tried to go for that Utz match at the very end. Uh, I think he assumed that Nico was going to be stuck on that platform a little longer. Edge guard, counter possibly, no, looking for that down tilt. You know, really good option there at the ledge as well, especially for a Shulk that doesn't snap exactly all the time. Yeah, yeah. Nairo right now looking at such in control now compared to how the first stock was going. Looks like he just kind of took him a moment to figure out what Nico's like essential current mood is and is able to play around that temperament. He's kind of leading Nico around, occasionally tossing in a back air or so, but still just letting Nico toss out that first move and then getting frame advantage off of it. Well, that's exactly what Nairo needs to do when the arts are in play. Uh, a lot of times when you see either the shield or the smash art um, that are online, you want to just kind of play as if you're at 180. Just because you already know if you're getting hit once, you're gone. Yeah, exactly. So just like backing off because they all have that timer that you can just see right over Shulk's head, right? So it's just why take a risk if you don't necessarily have to, especially if you have a lead. You're the one who forces him to come to you. Yep, and Nico switching back over to the shield one more time. Back to smash and a forward throw. Going to seal that one out. <laughs> yeah, the speed just running into Nairo. Can't go past him this time around, oh. but running straight into that explosive flame. Nairo taking the first game. What a good mix up by Nairo as well, because during that previous talk when it came to the edge guard, he was putting himself off stage as the main source of pressure on Nico to experiment to see what Nico would do. And Nico actually wouldn't respond at all. He wouldn't jump early, he wouldn't air dodge. And Nico kind of, uh, not Nico, Nairo just kind of took note of that. And then in the last talk, he was like, all right, explosive flame, since you're not doing anything in response to my movement. And called him out, got that early kill. Not early, but got that kill anyway. Yeah, no. I mean, it's a little early on, Sh on Shulk, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, if Shulk's not dying at 180, you didn't play the stock correctly. You know, actually, since Explosive Flame is a multi-hit, I think it should be possible for Shulk to switch to shield during it. Yeah, he, it'll, it'll sw yeah, he can switch yeah. within it. And I, I think every hit from the Explosive Flame actually will um, decrease the shield timer at that anyway. Oh, okay, okay. okay. 
Nairo carrying off where he was in that last game. So much percent being racked up on. After just one conversion, Nico just struggling to get back onto the stage in the early goings. But that's one thing that you have to deal with as a Shulk. You don't really have these out of shield options you know, to get people off of you. Nairo's edge guard that entire time was amazing, Miho. He just uh, not only got a solid 80% right afterwards, but just slowly inched away from all of Nico's attacks. Just fired back with his own, uh, and then more importantly, put himself off stage to bait out that air dodge and then kill Nico early. Yeah, but Nico mounting up a comeback already. 111 on to Nairo, switching into the smash art, and Nairo adjusting his combo to make it work. Seeing the smash is on, oh. and that's gonna be it. When you are in the smash art, you yourself take more knockback as the Shulk. Nairo's basically adjusting as fast as Nico is to his own arts. It's crazy. Like, I know you have the Monado, but I'm a goddess. <laughs> yeah, well, Nico still in Smash, but able to run all the way back. Pivot forward Smash, getting himself on the board with that first dog, but it is a mountain to climb right now, G-Pick. I like how Nico switches to speed the moment that Nairo comes down with the Angel Platform Invincibility, because that way he can just escape from that situation, cross up very easily, and hopefully get a better shot at the neutral. But that being said, Nairo just immediately picks it up right afterwards and keep sending Nico out over the stage. Yep. And I'm actually really surprised that Nico switched over to the jump art instead of shield. I'm not sure if shield wasn't available, but uh, maybe he was just assuming he could jump over Nairo instead. Mm -hmm. uh, but Nico stuck here at the ledge, challenging with that forwarder, able to come back, spacing away from the grab attack of Nairo as well, punishing him with the back air. Yeah. As Nico seems to be finding his footing in neutral, doing a better job cutting Nairo around. What's up? So I love the attempt that Nico went for right there. At lower percents or in specific percent range, you're going to actually go from the Buster Art off a down throw, leading into a confirm to the air slash. But he ended up missing it that time around, and Nairo capitalized, getting that back throw to get the game and a 2 0 lead in this set. Yeah. Again, we have a lot of monsters down here. Nico is no slouch, but having to fight Nairo just to make it into, what, a guaranteed ninth? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're fighting for ninth. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, no, the winner of this would be playing, oh, the loser of Ally and Samsora, which is on the other stream at the moment. Oh, yeah. That, that's, not, that's not too bad, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. <laughs> But anyway, game three starting up. Nairo once again opening out with a whole string of mares. And that's kind of been the story ever since that very first stock is Nairo's been in the driver's seat, except for a couple moments in neutral by Nico. Yep, forcing the high recovery there off of that air dodge. Taking his double jump too. Yeah, and that's already 85 unanswered for Nairo and Nico, but finally Nico able to land that back air. And I think when he's able to play that mid-range and to keep Nairo out, that's where Nico is excelling. But it's once Nairo is in there, Shulk can't do anything really about it. Yeah, and the problem is that Nico's been opting for a lot of short hop aerials, and Nairo's caught onto it. He just kept, runs up to that mid-range, tosses up the shield, and then is able to get in closer to Nico from there. Now, though, Nico's mixing in grabs in his neutral game, is able to get Nairo off guard a lot more often. <laughs> and going yeah. past the spot dodge of that too, understanding exactly what Nairo was going to hit. Oh, the air slash actually beating out what Nairo's intended edge guard was. Yeah, I don't know if that was a neutral air or a forward air. Nonetheless, Nico able to take that stock away, and Nairo not going with the tech at all. Nico is still leaping in though with these aerials, and that's kind of what's giving Nairo his opening, is waiting for the brief amount of landing lag that uh, Nico gets with Shulk. It's, everyone has less landing lag in Ultimate, but Shulk had so much that it's still punishable in this game. Down to confirming into the up air. Uh, no surprise there. And again, Nairo just taking advantage of the fact that Shulk does not snap in his recovery. Shield, just trying to pressure him on this platform. Waste the time instead. It, it not only wastes time, but he, uh, Nairo recognizes that in shield, Shulk doesn't really have the mobility to get off that platform easily either. So you can just keep poking away at the shield and just deal with that timer that way. Yeah. And once he saw that Nico was able to get back, he ran all the way to the other side of the stage and put up those auto reticles. Mm -hmm. Shulk, like you said, having such slow movement in the shield art, what can he do about him? Yeah, just kite, kite this uh, guy around. That's Nairo's plan. As soon as it's an unfavorable art, Nairo's not taking any chances. <laughs> There we have Nico adjusting his recovery to get past the, the up smash attempt and the back air connected right before Nico was able to switch his art. You well, saw the dial. No, he switched the smash. He switched the smash. He oh got no! Smash. Oh no! <laughs> like I saw an S and I didn't see yellow. Okay, I was gonna say like, wait, a minute, there's no way he didn't miss the shield. But there we go. 
Oh my goodness. The forward smash up angled. Nairo unable to get away. The first hit of that down smash is sending him in the opposite direction as well. Forwarder at the ledge with the smash art on. That's going to do it, Nico. Evening up these stocks. Oh, dangerous position. Nairo jumping up in there to get that upper, but Nico able to get the shield art on the line to make sure he didn't lose it. Nico holding on to the center stage. So potentially last stock at 90%. He can bring this back that we do. We have seen Shul kill at 40% so many times, Miho. I mean, he's in Buster right now. He just needs two hits mm -hmm. to put him in kill percent. Nairo's not going to let him have it. Choosing his opening carefully with that dash attack to get through the uh, down tilt. And right afterwards, another back air. Palutena's shield has been so useful against those Minato strikes. Just, it beats out any move. It's a, it's a shield. It does what it does, man. Mm -hmm. No, and especially 